all branches say one of their core values is honor. Mm -hmm. And they're like, but yet we're asking our servicemen and women to lie about themselves. So, so they're coming in dishonorably because yeah. they can't be honest that they love about who they love. Mm -hmm. Let's make, let's do away with it so we can truly have honor, which is a good thing. Right, right, right. Next question. Um, are you aware of, of any, uh, uh, like, problems within the gay community? Oh. Um, like, because I know that there are different... There are different types of like gay association. Like yeah. People, you know, associate yeah, there's, there's, different, there's different subsets. It's not people. just the LGBT community no. people. That no. that is that has become the umbrella. Yeah, that's you know? the umbrella. But <laughs> there's you know, it's like any community. There's subsets within it, and they clash because of ideology. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in and unfortunately, a lot of times it's all catty. Bullshit. You know, we're we're all we all want acceptance and equality, mm -hmm. but we can't accept and be equal within our within our own community mm -hmm. because oh, you don't fit this stereotype, you you don't fit that stereotype. You're playing down to the, and I say play down because they accentuate and fall into what is mainstream stereotypes which are never a positive light no no i mean because <clears throat> I, I don't know i i've always seen kind of seen like you know when you start to embrace the stereotype yeah you know that's when things get get a little silly yeah that's exactly. what things like like uh do you remember um and back during the 90s um back during the 90s like, uh, uh, here very recently, like, uh, uh, transsexuals and transgender people have kind of, like, become, kind of become, like, in the forefront again. Right. You know, uh, although very poorly, I have yeah. to say, very, very freaking poorly. They're still stereotyped. They're still written horribly. Yeah. Whatever. Um, but back in the 90s, if you remember, it was all about, like, drag queens. Yeah. Like, drag queens were, yep. like, the shit, you know? Yeah, like, everything was just, like, like you know, permanent work. <laughs> you know, perfect example. The movie Tu Wong Fu. Oh, God. It, it's a perfect example of I, you know, how, how a stereotype is selected for how many <laughs> shtick, yeah. but it's poorly written. You know, the best part of that, about that movie was John Leguizamas, because he was actually kind of hot. And <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I, I'm sorry, I could... I, I, that movie ruined any chance of me ever taking Blade series. <laughs> yeah. Life and Ales? <laughs> Couldn't do it. Oh, it was just like, you know, you're nothing but another dead vampire to me. Hi. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but, but I have to say, though, is the movie, here's where the movie was good, mm -hmm. is it started a discussion of, I'll give you that, of how to, you know, because, um, oh, what's her name? The Ed. She made the, she made the statement, I, I don't see you a man, I don't see you as a woman, I just see you as a friend who happens to have herself an Adam's apple. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't remember yeah, her name. I but. forget the actress's name, but it started a, it started conversations. Right, right. So that, that is a good thing. Mm -hmm. That it, and it, even though they were playing up the stereo, you know, they were exaggerating the stereotype. They were also, and it was supposed to be comedy. Mm -hmm. They also had. They put it in a, a good light, though, because they said, "There's, even though we're making fun, we're we're exaggerating the stereotype. We're." putting them in a positive light mm -hmm. you know because they stood up and they they took this town and said gave this town some if new, you haven't seen the movie, movie if you haven't seen the movie check it out it's it's an interesting movie yeah is it a good movie no no i don't know <laughs> it, it, it's it's not I, I would, it's, it's not a terrible it's, fucking it's a movie. terrible movie but <laughs> um, it is a good conversation starter i guess and, i guess well 
Well, I, I would it's, say you I would, gotta remember, it came out in like ninety four, ninety five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. when? So oh it's, my, it's it's a different time. It's a different. It's, it's a, a different, different time. It, you know, it's a different type of comedy, and it it really was a milestone because at that time, oh no, gay, mm -hmm. not anything mainstream. Mm -hmm. But here you have three, actually four, damn good mainstream actors and and an actress. Mm -hmm. It was when anything remotely considered gay mm -hmm. was taboo. And it said, no, we're throwing it out here in your face. Mm -hmm. So it, it was good because it started a conversation. We have to kind of like look at what was going on at the time, too, yeah. because uh, if you remember right, like back then, um, God, fucking, I can't believe it. We, we, going yeah. back here. Yeah. Um, remember that's also when like like house music and club music started yeah. to get like really fucking yeah. popular in the mainstream. Yeah. Like like you it just you did you heard yeah. a lot like CNC Music Factory yeah. and all that shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> but it. B fifty two. Yeah. Jesus. But it was a time when because think about it. we had. We had the AIDS epidemic it was still mm. very rampant, very frightening to everybody. Yeah, during the eighties. Yeah, it, 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 it was eighties, early nineties. You know, you had the gay epidemic, and you had so many public figures saying it was because of gays. Mm -hmm. So you know, so much of mainstream mainstream America was homophobic, mm. and this one movie. Said, they're just like every one of us. They, they see trouble. They, they try to help. Well, in my my other video that uh, I put out uh, before this one, when I was, I, I actually I talked about that where, uh, like, even when it comes to like you know transsexuals and transgender people, you know, where I've had friends that you know they're they're fucking close minded idiots where they're just talking about like you know oh well she may be a hot chick but you know she has a penis and and yeah I can't. I can't associate with that. I'm just like, well, first of all, how very close-minded and bigoted of you if you base every friendship you have off of what's between their legs. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, what a fucking moron. Exactly. You know? exactly. And, and it's the same thing with pretty well, much what, what, well, what her be, message in the movie and was. And honestly, I'll guarantee you, that person who's going, oh, she's a hot chick, but I can't get with her because of something between her legs, I will guarantee you, he's thought. Well, yeah, I mean, had, if you're had, acknowledging that, you know, that's it looks like a hot chick, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, right there. <laughs> you just gave yourself away, man. Yeah. It, it, you're interested in that person. Uh-huh. You know. You just haven't been able to. Well, there there was a science. Accept uh, it within yourself. There there was a, uh, uh, oh, I can't remember, but there was a study, I think, done back in, by a scientist back in, like, the 1950s or 1960s. It was either a German or, or something, scientist, I don't remember, but, um. Where he did a scale when it actually came oh, to human sexuality. Yeah, yeah. And uh -huh. there is no such thing as straight. No. There's no such thing as straight. Well, the, here's, here's, the, here's how the scale works, okay? Is, is that there is what is considered like the super alpha, the, the super alpha, okay? And then there's the super effeminate. Yeah. All right? Even when it comes to men and women, yeah. all right? That both men and women are on this scale. And what they find out is that pretty much everybody is right in that center line. Yeah. Which, if you want to think about it, that's technically the bisexual line. Yeah. Is, is exactly what that is. You know, but a lot of people, they, they tend to be either a little bit more on one side yeah. or a little bit more on the other side. The majority of people are right there in the center, but other people, they're, they, you know, they're, yeah. they're, you can be a bit more on the masculine side or you can be a little more on the, the effeminate side, depending on how you relate to things right. or whatever. But what this study showed is, is that there is no such thing as 100% straight or 100% yep. like effeminately gay yeah. or, or homosexual. or They don't exist. No, they do not exist based on human psyche and how we react to things. And the reason why is because even if, even if, okay, you, you were to do a study, okay, or, or a, 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 an experiment where you told a, a bunch of like super, super fucking, I don't know, douchebag frat boy whatevers that, you know, the, the pictures that they were going to see, all right, Next were were gonna be all men. There were nothing yep. but men, okay? And then you showed pictures of just really attractive females, and their job was to rate how attractive they are. Right. Okay. They're they're going to rate it. Yeah. Because immediately in their brain, 
they're going to be like, well, they already know that these are probably already guys, even if they're not. Right. You know, they're still going to rate it. Like, wow, that's actually she's pretty hot. She's pretty hot. She's pretty hot. Ah, well, but you're still rating it. Yeah. You know, you're not you're not putting a one on every single one of these right. or a zero. Right. So that means that there is a sexual attraction. So yeah, there's. The whole thing about like you know super 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 straight super gay that's yeah, all bullshit yeah. you know just be who the fuck you are exactly. like I, I I adhere to the uh, to the laws of of Shakespeare and that is uh, this above all to thy own self be true mm -hmm. which means yeah. be who you are you know yep. be who you are do not be influenced by anybody, be who anybody you else are. be yourself be who you are and be honest to yourself and about yourself you know I mean it's, it's like me you know I identify as heterosexual but if I see transgender cross-dresser or whatever you know that if you're hot i would be like wow she's pretty hot yeah. <laughs> you know? i'm not gonna lie for a split second in my head i'm like could i you know <laughs> i'm not gonna fucking lie right it, it, yep <laughs> all right maybe you know so yeah yeah there's there's a lot of turmoil that goes out of there but i'm honest about it yeah you know i'm absolutely honest about it and the fact that also I, I can sit here and I can have this dialogue with my friend here, all right? And I'm not all like, you know, yeah, so tell me about your homosexuality. <laughs> Just stay the fuck away from me. Yeah, you know, like, you know me, I'd, I'd have to kick that <laughs> You know? And I mean, see, that was one of the things that you, you were telling me about earlier is, is like, you know, it always seemed like I put off this, this homophobic vibe yeah. and everything like that where it's like, no, I just look like this. Well, <laughs> you know? I guess I, I've, ta I've talked with a lot of people and they're like, Oh, he's homophobic. And I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> nah, not really. No. no. I, I don't I don't I don't fucking care who somebody is. I really yeah. don't. I don't give a fuck who somebody is. I mean if like I said before, as long as you're not a fucking douchebag, I don't give a crap. Right. I don't fucking give a crap.